Welcome back to another episode of the Cannon Flash Recap. I'm your host, Terry. Today, I'm doing episodes two and three, trying to catch up. Again, I apologize. Like, I'm not going to be on time. At least this semester, I have class on Tuesdays when the Flash is on. So, if anything, I won't see it till the next morning. So, I'll always be behind. And then sometimes when I got a lot of work, like now... I don't see it till later in the week and I don't get to review it because I'm busy. So yeah. So sorry about that. Catching up on C or episode two and three. I feel so bad, but you know, new life change. That's, that's where we're at. So anyway, so I'll just kind of do my quick overview of both. So, uh, episode two was, uh, <laughs> when we had, um, Nora just kind of, trying to insert her life or insert herself into uh, everybody's life where she wants to be a CSI with Barry. Um, she uh, also, of course, wants to help out as a hero. And we kind of, we now we know why. We understand that she didn't grow up with Barry and um, she, because he disappears or whatever. And so that's kind of what we were with that. And then we get a weird villain. Like, honestly, I, I wasn't a fan of that villain. Uh, I, what was it Block or something? I don't know. I didn't really, I didn't really like it. I thought the acting was bad and I thought the powers were really confusing. So I wasn't a fan of that, but I am a fan of this family dynamic. And this kind of weaves into episode two and three, but they build in this dynamic where Barry is trying to prevent her from acting like him and making the same mistakes he did. And so you really see this maturation about Barry as he understands his mistakes from the past and he's, he sees where she's coming from, but he's like, look, trust me. I know how you feeling, but this isn't what you want to do. And so I'm really liking that whole dynamic of, um, Iris and Barry kind of being semi parents where like this is their child, but it's one they never met and they're in the child is fully grown. So it's kind of interesting that way. And just seeing Flash as a mentor and, you know, Barry being smarter, which was a big emphasis last year. And I like they carry it over this year with him not being the dumb one, because from season one through three, that's all it was. He was the dumb one, and now he's the mentor. And it makes sense that she's like that, because she didn't have him growing up. She's young, and um, she's a mix of Barry and Iris. And some people say she's annoying. I like it. I think she portrays qualities of Barry and Iris perfectly well, where she's so headstrong and she just wants to go out and do things and be defiant and bold, but she also has this nature to really want to do good and take the blame for everything. So I think she plays a really good mix of the two. Um, so this is leaning towards more C- uh, episode three, where we bring in another Wells. And so we knew Tom Cavanaugh was coming in some form of fashion. I thought he was Cicada. Uh, like, honestly, I, it looked like him with the mask on. But anyway, so he's here as a Sherlock Wells, which I don't know how I feel about that. Like the jokes with the Wells and Wells and Cisco, I can do it. I know it's cheesy. Some people don't like it. I can do it. I don't know how I feel about Sherlock Wells. Now you're just going too far. Like, now it's just a little too goofy. But we end up finding out he's a fraud of some sorts. And he doesn't actually know who, or he knows who Cicada is in other worlds. But it's not the same here. And so it seems as if Nora coming back causes Ripple where Cicada shows up earlier than he should. And he's not who... um he's supposed to be i guess so there's that um yeah i'm not sure how i'm gonna feel about sherlock wells but we'll kind of see the caitlin side story not really interested in it like i could see from a mile away that it was going to be some hidden message and like it kind of reminds me of felicity going down that road trying to figure out her father and find out he was a hacker hacktivist whatever and yeah, I just, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I don't really care about that. And I really don't like the fact that they're trying to say she was a meta before metas were meta. And so I don't know. I'm not too in love with that. Um, 
storyline, I would say. And the uh, uh, Cisco thing. Like, it seems like they're trying to phase Cisco out. I know it was called the death of Vibe and he didn't actually die, but it's like they're showing him having problems with his powers. This So far this season, he just been couldn't get over Gypsy. I don't know if they're going to like depower him down somehow and then just have him play his old role as the guy in the chair. But, um, it seems like they're headed towards that way. I don't want it to be true, but that's just kind of what it seems like to me. Um, so let's talk about Cicada. Um, he has something that can drain people's powers. He's still confusing because I, it drains their powers. I don't know if he can then use those powers. Because at one point, the end of episode three, he just literally shot off into the air and flew away. I was like, whoa, he can fly now? And so there's that. Um, yeah, so there's something special about that thing. But we also get the, oh, he's a human side. His daughter is in the hospital, but he's not stealing money for it. It seems as if maybe a metahuman or something happened with a metahuman that she was the crossfire, innocent bystander. And now he hates metahumans because he keeps talking about how he needs to kill all the metahumans. That's what it seems like. As these things typically do, um, it might be a bigger plot going on with a different villain. Or he might be the villain. He might just disappear halfway through the season and then come back later. But I just have a hard time feeling like he's the big bad because they're really moving quick with his storyline and showing they showed him in all three episodes and he had a confrontation in two of the three episodes with flash and he whooped them both times and the whole crew so i don't know man i feel like there's some bigger at play there but uh yeah i mean i'm enjoying it so far i, I like season four i know some people did i love the turn back to humor i think so far we got a good blend of humor and drama and so we'll continue to see that. I still don't like Cecile randomly having powers. Sometimes she does, sometimes she doesn't. It's stuff I don't like, but we'll see. I'm having fun so far. So, uh, episode two with Block Lady, I would give that, I give that 78% C plus. It was decent. Uh, this past episode, a little more meat to chew on. I give it an 86%, uh, uh, B plus. So. There we go. All right, so go to the comment section. Let me know what you thought about the episode so far. What do you think about season so far? What do you think is going to happen with Cicada and everybody? Thumbs up, subscribe, share it around, get the convo started. And remember, if you heard it, it's official canon.